Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through all the block editor features coming to WordPress 6.1. My name's Dave Smith, full-time block editor contributor and core team member, and this is my guide to WordPress 6.1. Let's get into it. Design tools see a major upgrade in WordPress 6.1 with more supports added up across more blocks. For example, there's now border controls on the columns block, axial spacing controls on the gallery block, and a convenient visualizer for margin and padding so you can see how your changes affect your design in real time. In a similar vein, WordPress 6.1 brings another design improvement with text that automatically scales to suit the size of the screen on which it is being viewed. This fluid typography support is available as a theme opt-in and allows authors to configure minimum and maximum values to clamp different text sizes to a given range. Content level locking is a new lock type that can be applied to container box to dramatically simplify the experience of editing inner blocks. When applied to a container, all nested blocks remain fully editable, but all the design tools are hidden, leading to a much simpler interface. For a while now, the block editor has allowed users to customize their editing experience via in-editor preferences. However, these changes were saved locally to a given device, meaning they did not carry across onto other devices. With WordPress 3.1, preferences are now saved to the site database, meaning your editing preferences will now remain the same on all your devices. Both the list and quote blocks have received major upgrades in this release, with both now supporting inner blocks. It's now even easier to create a list from an existing selection and modify each individual list item as a separate block. Similarly, existing content can be easily transformed into a single quote block, all through an intuitive interface. These updates make it faster and easier to work with your content in WordPress. Alongside WordPress 6.1 comes a new default theme. 2023 is a minimal theme that ships with 10 different style variations, each of which has its own unique style and feel. The template creation experience has been greatly expanded in WordPress 6.1 to include the ability to create page templates, post templates, custom templates, and taxonomy templates. Creating a template is also made easier with users no longer required to start from scratch as content is copied from the closest template in the template hierarchy. A view site link also lets users easily see their changes on the front of their site. Classic themes can now take advantage of block-based template parts in WordPress 6.1. In this example, we see the 2020 theme has been modified to allow users to customize the site footer from the editor without needing to be exposed to the full site editing experience. The navigation block now offers a better out-of-the-box experience with new fallback behavior automatically choosing the most appropriate menu to display based on the content the user has available. These fallbacks are now identical between the editor and the front of the site. UI enhancements include a simplified block toolbar with menu management now moved to the block sidebar controls. Starter patterns in WordPress 6.1 have been upgraded to allow theme developers to provide a set of suggested patterns to users upon the creation of a post of any post type. To use this feature, the developer should create a new pattern, add core post content in the block types field, and finally include the desired target post type or types within the post types field. With this in place, all that's left is to include the blocks and the pattern will display in the modal upon creation of a new post of the specified type. The Styles UI, which allows creators to modify aspects of styling a layout globally across an entire site, sees several updates in WordPress 6.1. 
The panel now provides support for styling of heading elements across all blocks, including color and typography controls. Similar functionality is also available for the button element. The link element control now allows users to set color used when a link is hovered, providing extra control over styling without having to resort to CSS. This feature is intentionally limited in scope, but may be rolled out to other elements in future WordPress releases. Lastly, root block spacing support has been added, affording easy control over this important interblock spacing value. So those are the key features of WordPress 6.1. If you enjoyed this video, you might like other videos I've done on WordPress 6.1 including an overview of the top five features with WordPress expert Anne McCarthy, or you may prefer to have a full overview of the features of the navigation block that are coming to WordPress 6.1. Be sure to check those videos out. But wait, I wanna hear from you. What do you think of WordPress 6.1? Is it a step forward or were there features missing that you'd have liked to see land? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure that any feedback you leave gets passed on to contributors working on the project. In fact, you'll wanna check out the comments anyway, because that's where I'm going to be leaving all the resources I showed in this video, including a link to the full WordPress 6.1 documentation field guide. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more in-depth WordPress block editor related content. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.